Hello, lovely internet strangers. It's been a year. I'm glad you're all still subscribed. The only problem is I don't know why. Why are you here? That is the question that I am presenting to you in this video. The lighting is a little off in this corner, but I think the audio sounds okay, so I'm just gonna roll with it because I just wanna get this message out to you guys. I tried posting on my community tab because YouTube has graciously allowed smaller channels to have access to the community tab now, but because I haven't been active, because you guys don't know to look there, it didn't get any traction. So I'm coming to you in the traditional video format. As I said, it's been just about a year. The last video I posted was OkCupid's 2022 Valentine's series. But in that time, despite not uploading any new content, I got about 60 new subscribers, had about 4,800 views on my channel. The views are not entirely surprising, but I am surprised to have gotten even that many subscribers considering I have not been active. So my question to my new subscribers is, why are you here? What caused you to subscribe? I'm glad that you're here. I'm very glad that you're here. I started this channel back in 2017. I was a very different person and the world was a very different place and I started the channel simply as an outlet because I really didn't have anybody to talk to about all the things that I was learning and thinking and I felt totally alone. I basically had my husband and that was it and I was becoming increasingly alienated from my friends because they weren't looking at the world in the same way, they weren't interested in the same topics or thinkers, and worse, I was afraid of losing friendships because of my newly evolving beliefs and questioning of the status quo, and I did lose some friendships over that. But in current year, I have a lot of people to talk to, actually, which is really, really nice. And also, when I started my channel, as some of you will remember, 2017 was maybe not as chaotic as 2016, but it was still pretty chaotic in terms of what was going on domestically, politics-wise, culture-wise. Outrage was in the air. It was a very reactionary time. The YouTube channels that I was following and the way people would talk about things, it was all caught up in that. I was just mainlining content every single day. I would listen to things while I worked during the day and then I would come home and put YouTube on pretty much until I went to sleep. But at a certain point, that outrage, chaos kind of died down. It's not that things aren't still happening and that the world isn't still crazy, but the atmosphere kind of changed and also my appetite for it changed. I had learned more, I had grown intellectually, and it's honestly been a while since I've really been immersed in watching a lot of content myself, and generally my content has been all over the place. I don't really have a niche. I have some specific viewpoints, some specific backgrounds that have given me something unique to share, like my background in publishing, but I've kind of done a little bit of everything. I've done some reacting to articles, videos, I've done my random thoughts on a particular topic, I've done my Reading the Feminist Canon series, I've told personal stories in my Anti-Feminist Diaries series, and I kind of want to expand even further outward, so making videos takes time and effort, and I would like to put my effort into content that you guys want to see. Now, I also want it to be content that I want to make, but I'm optimistic that there is some overlap between what you guys would like to see and what I would like to make, and the rest of my ideas I will likely test out on Substack in written form because I spend a lot more time reading than I do watching videos these days, and that's been the case for a couple of years, honestly. It's hard to tell just from my analytics what kind of content I should put out, because if I look at my top videos for the last year, they run the gamut. My heroine's journey video has the most views in the last year, followed closely by my video about James Roday and his Latino identity, but I don't think I've gotten any subscribers from that video. That is probably my most controversial video, and it gets a lot of views through search, but it also has probably my worst like-to-dislike ratio. Probably my most successful video in the last year was How Mean Girls Explains the Feminist Wars, which was partly a response to an article in Quillette by Louise Perry, all of a sudden it started getting traction because Louise Perry was doing the rounds promoting her book 
And so there were all these interviews on YouTube and people were searching for her. And I guess my video started popping up in search results and it started being suggested. And I think the bulk of my new subscribers are from that video. But even considering that information, I don't know if that means that people have subscribed because they are interested to hear more about my ideas about women and female competition or to see me respond to modern feminists. Because I think a lot of people who were looking to find content on Louise Perry found that video and maybe based on some of the things that I said they would assume that I'm on board with Louise Perry or I agree with her and share her views but I really don't. So I totally understand why people would end up watching that video based on the algorithm but I'm not sure why those of you out there who subscribe subscribed so I need you to tell me. My where have all the lesbians gone video also did pretty well which was a response to an article that Katie Herzog wrote and my video talking about this woke YA novel that I read did okay and started to get more views which was cool because I really liked doing that kind of video but I don't know if that's what people want to see from me. So I know that I have this batch of new subscribers and I also have a batch of longtime subscribers and I'm guessing that a lot of you like me have also changed. So it would really help me out if you guys would comment below and tell me why you subscribed, why you continue to subscribe, and what kind of content that you're hoping to see, what content you've already liked, and if there's some kind of content that I haven't really done or something that you want to hear my opinion on, anything like that, please tell me so I can tailor what I work on to match what you guys are going to want to watch. And I hope that when I start writing, some of you will be interested in reading that. If you follow me on Twitter, once I start posting some writing, you can definitely find it there. I can post it in the community tab here too, but I don't think many people are going to see that. My husband suggested that I try to create a community through a Discord server, which I have considered in the past, but I don't know what the interest would be like, and setting up a Discord server and maintaining it can be a little bit of effort. It's something I would like to do because I would like to have more interaction with my subscribers, and I would like all of you to be able to interact because I think that there are some of you that I've interacted with individually who would enjoy interacting with each other because I think some of you are are looking for people to talk to and are maybe a little bit starved for that kind of conversation and I would love for my channel to be a way that people connect and there's a comment section on every video but it's not quite the same as having a community so any of you that would be interested in joining a discord server that I started please let me know if you don't want to comment below you can dm me on twitter you can email me my contact info is in the description and I will put it at the end of the video basically I'm going through a bit of a brand refresh as much as I hate that term. I already have an entire separate blog that has nothing to do with the 8th square and I write about different things in a different way, but there are so many things that I want to talk about that I think fall under the umbrella of whatever the 8th square is, but they're things that I haven't necessarily talked about before or in the way that I want to talk about them, and some of the things I think would just be better written down. Like there are certain culture war history pieces I would like to do, or talking about certain trends that I see in the lyrics of songs by female Gen Z artists. And when it comes to video, I would like to experiment with doing things that aren't even me talking, but might just be compilations of my favorite moments of some public intellectual or my favorite moments of a TV show, like all my favorite very non-PC moments from Married with Children, for example. I've even considered doing live streams where maybe I read through articles in my feed and react to them or just answer your questions live, but I have no idea if anyone would be interested in that either. So I'm genuinely curious why each and every one of you are here and I would love to hear from you. I know it takes time and effort to write a comment, write an email, write a DM with something thoughtful, 
but I hope you can take a minute, put in that little bit of effort, because you guys are the reason that I'm here. You guys are the reason that I'm making this video. This channel is me. It's a part of me. It's my thoughts and perspectives, but it's for you. Please give me your feedback, your guidance on the focus and direction of this channel. If you don't care, if you just like my voice, my perspective, my takes on things generally, and you're not concerned so much about the content, you can tell me that too. And whatever the answer is, I'm glad you're here. It's this crazy thing that YouTube exists and that I can make videos and even a year or two later, people are still discovering the videos and liking them and subscribing to my channel. So I'm taking that as a sign that I should come back. Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you all for sticking with me. Thank you for everyone who has commented. I just really needed to take a break from the channel for a while so I could come back with fresh energy. I'm gonna leave it there. I don't wanna make this video too long. I've missed making content. I want to get back to making content. I don't know how frequently I will upload, but if you guys give me some feedback, I will definitely post again. I will give you fresh content. It will be glorious. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you all stay sane, even though the world seems to be getting crazier every day. I'm not going to do my usual spiel about subscribing and liking because if you're watching this, I assume you're a subscriber and I really just want your feedback. So comment, email, DM, something. Why are you subscribed? What do you want to see? Please tell me. It will help me a lot. And hopefully, I will have more content for you very soon.